everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day or evening wherever you are. Today we are going to be talking about loyalty. Uh, but before we start talking about loyalty, I have a fun fact. I found out, I found this book of fun facts that my husband has. So I thought, oh, I need to start giving some fun facts. I love fun facts. It's a good uh, conversation starter in case you're at a party and not sure what to say you could say oh I have a fun fact okay so my fun fact is you know I love living in Texas love Texas complain about the weather sometimes but who doesn't complain about weather or something about their state uh, but anyway my fun fact is at the state at the state's widest uh, point the distance across Texas is greater than the distance between New York City and Chicago. Now that's a big state. I do. <laughs> it is a big state. I like when they give you stats and, and they say, and the highest uh, record of D, uh, DUIs is in the state of Texas. Okay, people, we are a very large state. We probably have the highest birth rates, the highest uh, DUIs, the highest rate on divorces. I don't know. Now, those are not facts. Those are just me talking. But anyway, so that's an interesting point in case you... Uh, Wanted a fun fact. There it is. Um, I did have a friend once and she said that she and her family were going, I don't remember where they were going, but they were going on a road trip. And she said, we just kept driving and driving and we were still in Texas. It took us forever to get out of the state. <laughs> so I guess it's best to fly or go by train. <laughs> but anyway, so today we're going to be talking about loyalty. Are you loyal to anyone? anyone family friends your pets now pets here I go with the pets again dogs cats especially dogs are loyal to you they will love you and take care of you and they are always your loyal companion but um being loyal is a it's a pretty strong word if you think about it because you know I think when people start a relationship they plan to be loyal to one another. I mean, sometimes it's forever. Like I like when somebody starts complaining about their spouse or their, you know, their significant other, whatever I say, well, you did say for better or worse. <laughs> That's always my answer. So, um, but loyalty is something that is, it's kind of hard for some people to do to be loyal. Now I did have a friend, um, and she, I, I had told her something about someone that I thought she knew. Yes. I revealed a secret. Well, they didn't tell me to take it, not take it to the grave well, anyway. So I had, uh, told her something. And when I did, and she goes, what? I didn't know that. And I'm like, Oh shit. <laughs> I thought, darn it. <laughs> I thought she knew. So I kind of said, oh, well, you know, and kind of blew it off. She goes, well, I didn't know that. So a few months later, she comes to tell me something. And she goes, I'm going to tell you something, but um, you can't tell anyone. I said, okay. And she goes, now I've kept your secret. So you've got to keep mine. And I'm like, uh, I felt like that was a death threat. <laughs> Look, I, I did an oops, thought you knew kind of thing. And <laughs> it was like... Uh, you better keep my secret or else. I was like, okay. And it must have been such a great secret. I forgot what it was. So I guess I will take it to the grave with me. But anyway, so uh, being loyal, um, being loyal not only is in relationships, it can be in your job. It could be with friends. It could be with your neighbors. It could be for your country. Um, so being loyal is hard for some. I And I, I, I don't understand a lot of things when it comes to people not being loyal, especially in a relationship. Um, because, you know, you can be so loyal to a friend 
and we all have friends that we're loyal to. I mean, Luke Skywalker had R2-D2 and C-3PO, and Lucy had Ethel, and Laurel, I had Luke and Rory, and Jim had Pam, and Dwight had Angela, and Laverne had Shirley, and and Michael had Packer, and if you are following me, you know I'm talking about TV shows of The Office, or the movie Star Wars, or uh, Gilmore Girls, some of my favorite shows, of course, <laughs> Lucy and Ethel, who doesn't know them, but anyway, um, loyalty is something you are... When, when you're in a, a friendship relationship, it is very important to keep that. Uh, it's sad when someone betrays you because you have entrusted them as a friend or even family member. Now, family members, you should always, now these are just my opinions, always defend your family. Always be loyal to family because they are for you, should be there for you forever. Now, of course, some families don't get along and some people don't talk to their families. But for me, family is about loyalty. I mean, it's kind of put up your dukes if you're, you know, you have to defend your family, but you don't always have to get physical. I'm just saying you defend family. And of course, again, there's a family, like I said, that just don't get along and you could care less what happens to them. Now, this would be a hard part for some, especially a family member or dear friend. If you are, they confide in you and they have done something horrible, like committed a crime, a horrible crime. Could you be loyal? Now ask yourself if your spouse or your sister, your brother, best friend, neighbor, and they said, I've done something awful, but I'm just telling you, what would you do? Think, what would you actually do with that? I think I would ponder for about a few minutes, maybe an hour. <laughs> and if it was really horrible, yes, I would report them to the police and I would hate to say that, but even if it was my family, now I say it now, but I would think that if someone, if I found out someone did something horrible to someone or something, yeah, I think I would definitely report that to the police because justice has to prevail, especially if you know that someone has done something. I think, oh, karma will take care of that. Oh, God will take care of that. Oh, you know, he'll get what's coming to him. No. If someone has really honestly committed this horrible crime, then I think it's up to us as being a good citizen and friend and family. You've got to, you've got to um, share that. Now, I think I have men mentioned Father Schmidt that I listened to on um, YouTube, and he mentioned about someone confessing about committing a crime, and um, this person did not wasn't a Christian and he um, eventually became a Christian and realized what he did was really wrong. So he talked to his family after like 10 years. I mean, he killed someone. Let's, he, he did kill someone. And um, it was an accident, you know, driving drunk. Uh, how many people have done that and said, I'm not drunk and it's awful. But um, anyway, and he said that um, this person told him and about it and told his family and he did and he found that he needed to go and turn himself in now which most people could do that because you hear about all these heinous crimes that people have done and they find them like 30 years later but they didn't do it they didn't they weren't loyal to their themselves they weren't loyal to god they weren't loyal to the family they could have hurt i don't think people really think about how serious loyalty is I mean that's 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 it is something when you say I'm loyal to someone, you've got to be loyal. You could be loyal to your job. You could be loyal again to so many things. But I don't really think people phys I mean mentally think I I when you say okay let's say I'm in a relationship. Well yes I am in a relationship with my husband, but um I'm in a relationship and I have told him I will be loyal forever until death do us part now that was my choice and that was his choice also but what if 
what if, what if we got a little tangled up in something? You just never know because people say, oh, I will never do that. And again, like I said, never say never because you just don't know. You might be put in that situation that you become disloyal. So I think loyalty is such an important thing for people to, when they commit to something, it's a commitment. When you commit to something, you really need to stick to your words because loyalty is so important to so many. It is important to me. It's important to family. So anyway, this is what I'm talking about. Loyalty. I think we all need to be faithful. We need to, you know, fidelity. Of course, that's always the big thing for me. Uh, Fidelity and relationship of any kind. Um, You need to be able to chat with people when you think you might be going off like thinking about doing something wrong talk to somebody again you know I'm always about go talk to a therapist go talk to a friend someone you can confide in but it's it's very important that we try and do what is best throughout our lives and I think we all know that we're all raised this way I would hope if not, break the chain and start <laughs> changing your life that you can be loyal to something. You know, you can have someone who has committed and said, I am going to be loyal to this job. And then you just get tired of working at this place. So then you, some people will lie and say things happen at this place and sue them. You know, people are all about lawsuits nowadays. Um, And that's horrible because they hired you to work for them. Do I know of something like this that has happened? Yes, I do. And I think it's just so wrong. If you're unhappy with your life or your job, then you need to tweak it, change it, do the right thing. Loyalty, again, is something very important, I think, to so many people. Uh, You have, (laughs) have so many people that say, I'm loyal and they're off doing something wrong but anyway so that's my take on loyalty and I hope everyone is doing well um it's short it's sweet I know I don't make my podcast very long because I'm one of those people I'd like to say what's on my mind get it out there and be done with it I'm not one to talk for hours upon hours and hopefully some of y'all appreciate that and just listen to me going to work or whatever and I do appreciate all the listeners downloads whatever um So I guess that's it for now. I hope you have a wonderful evening, a wonderful morning, a wonderful day. And remember, be loyal. Count your blessings. Look for your blessings because they're right in front of you each and every day. And until later, this is Henry. Henry.